Kano State Governor Abdullahi Ganduji has presented a budget estimate of 196.3 billion naira for the 2022 fiscal year for deliberations and approval by the State House of Assembly. Uh, the estimate is tagged a budget of consolidation and prosperity with 107.8 billion naira capital expenditure and 88.5 billion naira as recurrent expenditure. TVC News Kano correspondent Ibrahim Misa reports on this. The year 2021 is rounding up. Kano State Governor Abdullahi Gendudu is making plans for the year 2022, one of which is the presentation of a budget proposal to the Kano State House of Assembly. The governor arrives in the house alongside his deputy, Nasser Gawuna, and many other government functionaries and supporters of the Old Progressives Congress, APC. Governor Ganduja presents a budget estimate of 196.3 billion naira to the State Assembly for approval. The appropriation bill, which was stacked budget of consolidation and prosperity, was made up of 107.8 billion naira as capital expenditure, representing 55% and 88.5 billion naira as recurrent, representing 45%. In my COVID-19 pandemic, we are able to build a sound foundation for economic and social transformation in the outgoing 2021 fiscal year. Significant, significant achievements have been recorded, highlights of which I now want to present before this Honorable House. The year 2021 approved budget for the education sector has the lion's share in the budget with 51.6 billion naira representing 26 percent while the works and infrastructure sector was allocated 33.8 billion naira general administration 27.1 billion naira and the security sector 11.3 billion naira speaker of the kanu house of assembly hamisa chidari I showed the governor of speedy passage of the budget. The speaker called on revenue generating agencies to intensify efforts in generating funds for the government to execute its project. The governor is optimistic that the 2022 budget estimate will provide a platform for continued consolidation of programs and projects to be executed by him. Ibrahim Issa, TVC News, Kano.